So who is this mysterious person? Argent, Hawkins! I got the call from headquarters. Here's the device. Now grab it and go. We may be being watched. Me? I'm headed for the ocean. Cuban seashores are incredible. Okay. Okay, hasta luego. See you later. And watch out for Carmen San Diego. Thanks. Ah, there it is. The Watson 221B Clue Analyzer. It's the best analyzer Acme ever produced. Okay, Sherlock. Now you've got your Watson. Can we continue with this mission? We've got to find Carmen and get that valuable book back. That's a cute title, the, the Watson 221B for uh, Sherlock's device. Because Sherlock Holmes and Watson lived on 221 Baker Street. Wait, what's this? I heard something fancy. I guess I'm just frightening Global myself. transport. Let's go back to Brazil. Wow, I had no idea Brazil was so big. Fifth biggest country in area in the world, with 175 million people. Rio de Janeiro. I think you need to work a little on your rhythm, Hawkins. But how about later? Much later. Let's focus on finding clues right now. Yeah, let's work on your singing when I'm not around. When I'm not here, I want to hear you sing, my dear, I hear. Psst, quick, I've got the book the guy gave me. Go ahead, take it. Me? I'm closing up. He seems scared. I wonder why. Anyway, I'm all set to scan it. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Okay. What are we scanning? <laughs> Analysis complete! Whoa! Look, a bookmark with some sort of strange design. And the fingerprints on it belong to a vile agent. That device actually found something. Amazing. Of course! That scrap of paper must be a clue. I'll just enter it in my state-of-the-art Acme Digital Clue Storage device. That's my DCSD for short. Hmm. Maybe Carmen gave the Marco Polo book to one of her vile agents to hide. We've got to check everywhere for clues. If we get really stuck, we can always call the chief for help. Sounds good. So, we have a top secret bookmark and that, that picture. Can I take a look at it? Is it kept here? All right, it's kept here in my clue device. Hmm. Very mysterious. So let's keep looking around. Ooh, who is this person? Can I examine him? There was something very suspicious over at that house. You know, the one that's painted in the colors of the Brazilian flag. All right. We can use the database to help us figure out where to go. So something in the house, colors of the Brazilian flag. Got it. This looks like a great place to eat. Hmm. Yummy. Ooh, wow. Can I order something? No? No, I can just look at what they're uh, ordering. So, here's a house with very odd colors. Let's go inside. I presume those are the colors of the Brazilian flag. Let's look it up on our database. Yep, green, yellow, and blue. Green, yellow, blue. She's here. Watching us. Carmen San Diego? Well, if she's around, she better watch out. You know, I had a feeling she was expecting us to follow her. After all, she dropped a post-it note with the words Rio de Janeiro on it at the crime scene. A super criminal like Carmen San Diego doesn't accidentally leave behind evidence. Hello, Julia. What a pleasant surprise to know you've been assigned to this case. Still trying to prove yourself? Who's your friend? If I you're done thinking, uh, I suppose we should get back to work. I'm not done thinking. I think I'll have some fun showing him that catching me can be quite the challenge. See you around. <laughs> when you least expect it. Dramatic. So what's here? Iguazu Falls. How would you like to swan dive off of that? I don't know. That looks kind of dangerous. Whew. 
does look like a fun place to go to. So what else is here in Brazil? I remember statistics that say samba dancing samba is quite dancing. popular here. Brazilians know how to conserve fossil fuel. Some of their cars run on gasohol, made from fermented sugar cane. Sounds like a great idea. You know, Carmen studied alternative fuels at one of the universities here. She was very into conservation. Hmm, and what's this? I've seen some very old Roman Catholic churches in Rio. You know, the Portuguese settlers were Catholics and brought that religion to Brazil. Many Brazilians have African ancestors, too. Hmm. Rio is such a city of contrasts, such wealth in some areas. And then there's the hillside shanty towns called favelas, where the poorest people live. And this giant statue? I've read that you can get a fabulous view of the city from the huge statue of Christ the Redeemer on Mount Corcovado. Yeah, it's something like a thousand feet tall is what I've heard. So what's this? Ooh. Another clue. Alright! Now we're on to something. We've definitely intercepted one of Carmen Sandiego's messages. Shinto Shrine. Hmm. Your database should point us in the right direction. So they're making the transfer near the Shinto Shrine Sector 2B. Vile Priority Code, Priority Code 99. So it looks like we've uh, examined everything there is here in Rio, except this mountain. Sugarloaf Mountain is one of Rio's most famous landmarks. They must call it Sugarloaf Mountain because it looks like an old-fashioned cone or loaf of sugar. Sure does. Okay, so, Shinto. That's Japan! We're going to Japan, everybody! Let's go to Japan. Did you know that Japan has 126 million people in a space roughly the size of California? Did you know that 99% of people surveyed already knew that interesting fact? I didn't. Japan's the same size Why as California. Why would Carmen steal a rare Marco Polo book? Travel? Orient? Danger? What is she trying to tell us? What do you mean? It's rare, probably worth a lot. She's a thief, so she stole it. Plain and simple. Look, Hawkins. Carmen San Diego is no common thief. She's got to have a reason for stealing that book, and it's up to us to figure it out. We need to search everywhere for clues. Oh, but I don't have my HX3 Pocket Japanese Translator with me. I thought that you were always prepared, Hawkins. Hopefully we won't need it, since English is taught in many Japanese schools. Mm-hmm. That's true. So the way the game works, uh, is, uh, it's going to be the same thing we did in, in Cuba, where we've got a bunch of things we can look at. Um, some of them are items, I mean, some of them are places that we can zoom in on. Let's stay on task here. There are clues to be found. And then some of them are just things you can click on to get educational information, like uh, Mount Fuji, I believe? Fujiyama, Mount Fuji. This volcano is a symbol of Japan. Carmen and I actually hiked to its summit one year, back when we were partners at Acme. Over 12,380 feet. Oh, 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 she's like, oh, back when we were partners in Acme, over 12. I'm like, whoa, 12 years ago? 12,000. Okay, you were not that old. Um, kind of confused me there. Let's zoom in on this tree. Hmm, what can we do with these paper cranes? It doesn't look like we can do anything with them yet. I imagine later on, once we get a clue, we'll know which paper crane to check out. This is a Shinto shrine. Many Japanese participate in Shinto rituals, like festivals or leaving prayers at a shrine. Buddhism and Confucianism are among the other religions practiced in Japan. Alrighty, and over to the right. Excuse me, we're looking for someone who we think may be waiting around here. Have you seen anyone that seems out of place? Ah, yes, a lady. She had something for two people who match your description. I was to give it to you after you sit and play a game. Okay. Why not? My Hanafuda flower cards, do you like them? They have a long history. In Japan, we value nature and its beauty is portrayed in our games. Go on, try and match all the pairs. Hmm, a simple pair matching game, huh? 
I think I can solve this.